Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new story. The name of this story is What If Naruto Got Isekai At Birth Bro and yeah guys, it is an unscripted story and my own idea. Now before continuing this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and before continuing this, there is an important message that I would like to give you all. The thing is that I have read many of your ideas which were a lot of cool ideas as well in between because Many of the concepts were quite nice, but the thing is that I haven't watched most of the animes and mangas. This is the thing, it is from my end, I don't have enough time to go on and, you know, read all of the mangas and watch all of the animes in a single day or anything. So yeah, I know these things take time and that is why I said so. If you want me to make anything from your favorite manga or anime in Naruto universe, just kindly explain to me what he does or what kind of powers does he has. This makes it a lot of easier to, you know go on and create a different story based on what you have described this helps me out a lot and aside from that there are a lot of people who have left a huge huge amount of you know paragraphs like you know a full description of a story even the whole plot some of them have i mean shout out to them man i will be making their ideas into movies and to from tomorrow onwards i will be starting them that is what i wanted to convey i hope you don't mind please just understand that i can't make any story if you just say hey why don't you go make this anime's you know this ability from this character and that to, into naruto i can't do that i don't even know i you know that right most of the animes i don't even have watched i'm not gonna lie because there are just a few animes that i usually watch or even a few mangas that i keep tabs on that is the best i can do because as outside from this i also have a life and you know i am busy with a lot of stuff i can't even reveal right now when the time comes, I will tell you what I'm busy with. You are also like a family to me, all of you, and I'm not gonna hide anything from you. It is the promise that I made from day one, since I reached the 1000 subscriber mark. Anyways, quit being emotional, I guess. Now, enough about this. Without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins in Konoha Gakure no Sato on October 10th in night time, as we go towards the said village to see that it was lit up in flames from the outer skirts. The complete outer wall was destroyed and so was the buildings near it. Screams of the civilians could be heard as they were trying their best to get away. As a roar was heard then, as that is when we see a huge fox with nine tails looming over behind it was seen with red eyes as it was the Kubino Yoko, the strongest BJ known to the shinobi world that descended upon them. It was supposed to be a peaceful night but that is when a murderous chakra, a huge amount of chakra gathered and formed itself in the form of a Kubi. And next thing they knew, it descended upon them. As the shinobis were quite quick to take an action, as they, alongside the leadership of their previous Hokage, Hiruzen Sarado, be the Sandam Hokage, taking the charge, were able to act as a line of defense, but they too were falling weak and taking heavy damages. As Hiruzen was thrown against a huge wall, as he was on the ground now, grabbing his metal staff, he got up again. Hokage Samari, are you alright? I am fine. But where is Minato? He's supposed to be here. As that is when Hiruzen thought, Damn it. I thought Minato told me everything was under control. Where is he? As that is when a huge puff of smoke appeared in midair. And that is when he saw a huge toad appear with a katana in its hand. Why don't you pick someone of your own size? Said the toad. As the QB was headbutted by the toad as both of the huge titans begin to clash. As on the other side we see Hiruzen's eyes fell upon a man that teleported there using a kunai. In his hand was his two children, as that is when soon came to the battlefield a red-headed woman. M Minato, wait! Kushina! I told you to wait! Why did you come here? I can help out. Leave one seal to me, you prepared the other. As they immediately summoned an altar, as both of them placed their children there and began to draw the seal. As that is when we see Hiruzen coming out of his shock of what was going on, seeing that the titan was able to chain the tide somewhat, he marched towards Minato and Kushina. Minato, Kushina, how did this happen? We were attacked. What? What about the others? I'm sorry, Hiruzen sama. But Wakusama and the others are dead. The masked person claiming to be Madra, he's behind this hall. Madra? Who would? As that is when Hiruzen dashed his eyes towards the QB's face to see in its eyes, and that is when he saw. Its eyes were indeed red, but not slit with slits, with a shining gun in it. Oh my god, it is true. There is a shining gun in the eyes of the QB. It's under a Genjutsu. That is why we need to hurry. 
as that is when we see Minato and Kushina begin to draw the seals. As that is when, as this was going on, we see another figure was watching this. And that one was none other than the said mass person who did all of this. As that's who appeared, we have to stop them at all cost. We can't let them finish the seal. Otherwise, the Biju will be gone from our hands. No worries. I'm not, I'm gonna do something that will make them regret doing so. As we see, Kushina was done with Minat Naruto seal, as was Minato with Mito seal. Mito seal is done and so is Naruto's. As that is when, the chakra and the soul was split by Minato using the 10 pentagram seal that, she, that he did with Kushina. And as both of the parents held their hand seals, the biju itself was ripped apart and was then sealed within the seals that were placed on both of the children. And as soon as they did this, before they even could do a sigh of relief, we see the mass person appear. <laughs> you think I would let it go that easy? As he placed a paper on Naruto's forehead that had a different circle in which many of the markings were, were left that were foreign to any kanji they had ever seen. As suddenly Naruto disappeared from there, and so did the mass person. Now you'll never see where your child has gone to, Minato. Kushina. <laughs> Now, you have lost one of your child, and I'll be coming back for the other one. And with a haunting laugh, he disappeared. What was supposed to be their sigh for relief turned out to be a disaster, and fear gripped their hearts. As Minato, after gathering himself, yelled out, Hanbu! Now is not the time to celebrate. Go out and find my son! As Anbu's who were standing there saw that Minato was shaking, he was enraged. As they stood there, Hokage... As I said, did you not listen to me? Go now! As Minato yelled out, hearing him in rage for the first time, they all left, trying their best to find their Hokage son. As Hiruzen tried his best to calm him down, calm down, Minato. We'll be able to find him. But if we don't, it is all my fault. I shouldn't have brought them here. As that is when Minato then looked towards Kushina, seeing that both of both of them were sorrowful. Hiruzen then said, taking the head away from him. How about you take some time off from the duties and gather your strength, Minato, before returning? Thank you, Hiruzen Sama. As now we go towards another reality, different from the Shinobi world, where dragons, elves, and even demons exist, and so do humans, where humans can use magic and have mana instead of any chakra. And amongst them is a kingdom known as the Kingdom of the North in which on north side there is a lot of snow but the people there aside from the cold environment are quite warm hearted because they are governed and ruled over by the duke of that said place the duke of that said kingdom and that duke name is albert he has white hair and blue eyes and he is known as the dragon slayer of the said empire because he has defended the said empire three times against the demon king's subordinate dragons which were the dragon of calamity dragon of end and dragon of time slaying these three dragons he was able to earn this title and he was a kind and just ruler but unknown to all seemingly very happy to all he had one secret as now we go towards his castle his estate where we see his wife mary looking towards him with a sad expression, as a doctor diagnosed her again. I'm sorry to say, but... Albert Sama, your child is no more. It is because of the poison that Mary Sama has taken at your birth. Because of that, she can never bear any children. No matter how many times you try to cure it, there is no cure, unfortunately. Whoever said that there was a cure, he only ruined it even further. I see. Thank you, Mark. You can leave. As the physician Mark left, Mary began to cry. Being the wife and a former knight who followed Albert in the war against the demon king's three dragon subordinates, she fell in love with him and married him. But at their marriage, because of a poison wine that she drank, which was meant for Albert, that is the current reason that she couldn't have kids. As Albert looked at her, it's alright Mary, you don't need to worry about anything. I just want a child. Can't I even have one? She said, looking broken and tired, as that is when 
Suddenly, in that room, a bright light appeared, and before they could say or do anything, the name was heard. Naruto! No! And not only that, in their arms landed a child. A child that had tan skin, three whisker marks on each side of his cheek, blonde hair, and once his eyes opened, blue eyes that looked at Mary's brown eyes as well, as Mary's eyes widened. As the bright light disappeared, and Albert, who was on alert, was shocked as well. What? Who was that man? Naruto, who is this? As he began to check everywhere using his mana, and his mana was so much stronger that he was even with his closed eyes able to see, and with the help of foresight, his ability throughout the whole empire, his, his land, but no person was found who did this. A portal. Why would an ancient portal, a relic of the past, would be activated like this? As that is when he looked at the child, who looked at him with blue eyes. As Albert then looked at Mary, who, who looked happy. As she pointed a finger towards the child, as the child tried his best to grab with his chubby little hands the finger. As that is when Mary realized then and there what she needed to do. Albert, can we... Adopt him? Adopt him? But Mary, we don't even know where did he come from, who his parents are. Maybe they are looking for him. You know we heard a voice, right? Seemingly a man who said no, and Naruto. What kind of name is that? I don't care what kind of name is it. Maybe he's a blessing from above. Naruto. My Naruto. As after that, Mary adopted the young infant, and Albert? Seeing that the young child was from unknown was quite very at the start. But as the years passed, we see a nine year old Naruto who was walking around in estate with his well trusted guards who were hiding in the shadows as he bumped into his mother. Ah, Kasan, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing, Naruto. I was just tending to the garden. And I am soon going to have a meeting with the Empress who is going to arrive here to meet me. Oh, I see. As Naruto remembered that his mother and the Empress of the current empire which their land belonged to and is a part of is his mother's best friend and childhood friend and that is why she was going to visit them soon. Why don't you stay with your mom so that you can visit my friend when she arrives? Is it really fine? As that is when his father arrived. No, he's not gonna stay here. He skipped his class again. I was going to come there, but I took a detour. I just want to see this corridor because I never ventured in there. <sighs> Have enough fun now? Let's go, young man. As Naruto was literally picked up by his father from back with a single hand. As Naruto looked down with a deadpan expression as he was taken away. As Mary chuckled. As that is when, seeing this, she heard a voice from behind. So is that the little boy that you adopted, Mary? Ah, Lena, you're here, finally! As the Empress smiled, named Lena, as Mary and Lena hugged each other, as both of them were happy, and finally they settled down. So, how is Leo? He is fine, but he is getting quite hectic these days, said Lena. Leo was her husband and currently the Emperor and the true ruler of the whole continent. I see. Well, I hope that Leo-sama is able to get through with this like he does usually. Oh, I believe he would. But the thing is that something is bothering him continuously. What is? It's about the Demon King. We think that the Demon King Albion might be reviving himself. <sighs> really? But but it is subordinate. It's the end ending dragons, the Calamity Dragons, all of them were wiped out. They were by both of you. But they sacrificed a part of their soul, giving their power and their vitality to the Al new ending dragon Albion. It is said that she will revive soon, and once she does, our whole world might end. And the prophecy has been given to us by the church already. What prophecy? Only your child will be able to will be the one who will bring peace to the two worlds. Two worlds? I don't understand that part and nobody at the church as well. Mary, is there something that you're hiding from me? As Mary, Naruto's mother flinched, 
as Lena understood in an immediate reaction that Mary indeed was hiding something. This is not the place where we should talk. How about we go inside your room where we can discuss? As now we see both the Empress Lena and Mary, the Duchess arrived inside their room. As the door closed shut, as there was tea in front of them, as the servants left. Talk, Mary. Tell me what you are hiding from me. I am your friend. You can trust me with that, right? Even if you are my friend, I can't. I can't trust you because you might take my child away. As that is when a desperate expression and a sorrowful one appeared on Mary's face that Lena was shocked about. Please, I won't. I swear on my name. How can you not trust your own friend? Said Lena, looking a bit hurt. The thing is that my Naruto, he's, he, he, he appeared when I was told that I couldn't bear children because of the poison that was meant for Albert at our wedding. As Lena's eyes widening, so he's not your child. He, I thought he was adopted, but, but, I thought he was a relative or something from Albert's side. All of the Albert's relatives were killed by him after his ascension. You remembered, right? They all were greedy bastards who threw him out after his parents' death. He had to reclaim his property and this land from them. He's the one who saved these people, all of them," said Mary. Of course, how can I forget? So tell me, Mary, what is it? Naruto appeared at the time through a light. We only heard his name. It was a man's voice. And at that time, we were very. But once I found him in my arms and him looking at me with those lovely eyes, I couldn't. I just couldn't. At that moment, I decided to become his mother. And Albert too soon followed suit and became a prime father for him. I see, said Lena with a smile on her face. Your secret is safe with me. I won't tell them. But remember this, everyone in the empire is talking about your child, young Naruto. And sooner or later, once he reaches at the age of 13, he will have to make his debut. You know that, right? I, I know. And when the time comes, the church will get involved. I won't let them take my child away. I know. I know you won't. As now we see, on the other side, in the training grounds, Naruto was having a spar with his father. As both of the wooden swords in the end were cracked and shattered, as the guards then said, Master is really scary and strict with the young master. I can't believe this. <laughs> you can't believe this? I mean, look at the young master. He's able to keep up with his father at such a pace. Even, even Duke at that age was not able to do what he is able to do. Ah, he is quite talented. I gotta, I gotta give you that. Well, that was meant to be, because of the previous Knight Commander and the Duke himself. Nar Naruto Sama is bound to be talentful. I see. So Naruto Sama is that much talentful, you say? Said a kid that arrived there with blonde hair and pink eyes, and that was the current heir to the throne as well as the only prince and Lina's son, named Marcus. Marcus Sama, hail to the star of the empire. I, I am sorry, I did not knew, as that is when Naruto and the Duke Albert both stop. Hail to the star of the empire. What can we do for you, Marcus Sama? Mm, nothing. I was just interested in seeing Naruto over there. Would you like to have a spar with me, Naruto? It will be my honor. Naruto, what are you? It's alright, it's just a spar, right? As that is when Naruto and Marcus began their spar, Marcus used a slim and thin blade that was used for fencing, and on the other side, Naruto got himself a wooden blade again, a proper sword. As both of them engaged, Marcus was fierce and quite fast, but Naruto was able to dodge, parry, and even use brute force to attack. As this was going on, we see Naruto was winning, and that is when suddenly Naruto stopped. As Naruto fell down to his knees, grabbing his head, uh, uh, my head. As even at that time, Marcus halted as Albert arrived. Naruto, my son, what is wrong? My head hurts. Huh? But I did not hurt. I hated you there. It seems that my son is injured and unwell. I think it would be best for this mass m match to be postponed for the time being, Your Majesty. If it is all right, it is. But I am worried about him. Can I? Of course, it would be our honor. As Naruto was taken to the medics, as on the other side Lina and Mary were talking, 
A maid arrived. Mary Sama, it is an emergency news. Naoto Sama, while sparring with Marcus Sama, it seems that he, he got a serious headache and he's he he's bedridden. As Mary f immediately dashed towards Naruto's room, once she arrived there, we see that Naruto was bedridden and had a high fever. What is happening? As after that we see, Albert ordered everyone to get out, even the physician. As Albert took off his shirt, and there it was, the seal. As the magician of the court magician told them, it was a seal from another reality altogether, a matrix that they could not comprehend or try to decipher. They have taken a copy of it, tried to decipher, and so far they have come up with it is a storage compartment where something is stored, something that was stored from the other reality from where Naruto came from. That much they knew about for sure. It's the seal acting up again. What is this cursed seal that is placed on him? As that is when Naruto was at peace as the seal glowing disappeared. As Mary began to cry, Albert, I don't want to lose our son. What, what would happen if he goes back to that reality? I don't know. And honestly, Albert too, who has gotten close to Naruto and see him as his son and heir, was also quite scared. As because out of nowhere Naruto arrived to them, and what if out of nowhere he is taken back? As this was going on, and in this reality, in the Duchess estate on the north of the Empire, this family was worried. We go towards his real family on the other side in Elemental Nation. Minato and Kushina have gone into some sort of depression. If it wasn't for Mito, they would have completely lost it. They have been getting used to that Naruto is no longer with them. He has disappeared without a trace. M.I.A. was given the title. But whenever the birthday of Mito came, it became a touching subject to the both parents. Even their friends knew that they should be wary and not talk about their dead child in front of them. As today was also October 10th, Mito's 10th birthday. As no party was arranged, but Mito was happy because she knew she had her parents with them. The only thing she regretted was that she was not able to save her brother. Even her parents and everyone else told her that she was an infant child like Naruto. It wasn't her fault. If it was, it was that masked person claiming to be Madara. And if anything in this world Mito detested more than what her family condition was, it was that said masked person who caused all of this, who took her little brother away from her and made her parents and family like this. She would revenge on him. She has sworn on her brother's name that she will. And once that is done, she will become the strongest Konoichi and the Kage of the said world. As she was training, we see that her sensei, her godfather, then said, Mito, why are you out of it? Oh, I almost forgot. Today is your birthday. Here you go. This is my gift to you. What is it, sensei? Ah, sensei, huh? No Irasanin or anything? Yeah, I guess not for today, just. <laughs> Fine, I guess. Said Jiraiya, not pondering into it. So, I said Jiraiya as both of them begin to walk towards Mito and Minato and Kushina's home from the training ground. How is your parents doing? Why don't you come in and talk to them? No, I'm fine. Are you still hung up on the thing that happened? Yeah, but it's not their fault. Or not that I'm mad. It's because I, I blame myself because Minato lashed out at me. It was the first time I felt... Sad at the same time broken that I couldn't do anything to cheer him up. I know what he has lost. I see him as my son. You know that, right? And I can't see both of them like this. Not you. Even if you hide your pain behind your smile, I know you're going through some things, Mito. And I want you to know this. I am here with you. For you. All of you. Said Jiraiya. As both of them stopped, as now they were standing in front of their home. Well, I'll be on my way then. Time to do some research. As now we see Jirab with his giddy expression disappeared. Mito then stood there. So much for research, huh? Even I guess you are hiding some sort of pain of your own, Sensei. As, in, as soon as she set a foot inside, she was shocked and surprised. As both of her parents were there and they seemed happy. As Kushina has prepared a cake. As... They even sang happy birthday and were now happy 
for the first time Mito felt happy, but that is when she realized, since she has become mature of her family's condition, you don't need to force yourself. Oh, so you, you know, found out, huh? We're not forcing ourselves, Mito. I think it is time that we come out of this depression, as people call it. Even if we're gonna remain like this, Nart is not gonna come back. We have come to terms with it. As Mito's eyes widen, what? We still have you. You are our child, and we will love you no matter what. You don't have to worry about anything. From now on, you will see your parents in their former glory, and not hear about us from our friends of how we used to behave. Still, Naruto's missing here is our fault and we still feel pain, but we cannot ignore you any longer. We will continue on with this pain and make sure that for Naruto and for our sake, you continue to live on a happy and healthy life. As Mito with tears in her eyes finally hugged both of her parents, an unknown to the family of Trio, Hiruzen and his student, Jiraiya was watching this from their globe that was kept in Hokage office. Well, it seems like they finally are out of it. <laughs> Took them a long time to snap out of it. Ten years, Jiraiya. That is a long time. But then again, they lost a child. And it was their firstborn as well. <sighs> I guess you're right. But still, it is quite sad what happened. But now they have come to terms with it. Maybe we might see the red death and the yellow flash once more in their former glory. Who knows, Sensei? Maybe we will. Oh, and by the way, any news about them? Yes. It turns out that Moss person is known as now Toby and is in the organization known as Akatsuki. God knows what they are doing, but they are forming quite a lot of, well, you know, relations with different villages. They have even worked for us when we did not knew about that. Akatsuki. I do remember that some of the missions were handed out to them through our, you know, associations for hunters and other, and Homura was in charge of it. He even approved of the mission. Who was it? Kakazu and... Sasori, I guess. These two were the ones. Hmm, interesting. These are some of the shinobis that have been known as S-rank and rogue shinobis. This organization is something up to big, Sensei. I can feel it. So do I, Jiraiya. Keep me updated. As this was going on, we have another time skip because both of the worlds were going safely and soundly. As we see, both children, Mito and Naruto, reach at the age of 15, and Naruto already had his debut two years ago, and he had a lot of fan following because of that. Many of the noble ladies and the civilians as well were captivated by him and his charisma. And not only that, he has become full-fledged friends with the next heir to the throne, Marcus. As now we see, currently Naruto was getting off from the academy as this was academy in the empire where the nobles and the commoners would attend and they would train in to become mages as well as knights and naruto was able to become and given title even surpassing that of his father prodigious sword saint because he was not able to only pull out the sword excalibur but also able to wield it and use it to full extent as many called him the second coming of the hero who would save them from the demon king dragon known as Elbion, because the dark dragon Elbion was rising. Even if his subordinates were taken care of, they have sacrificed themselves in the form of a ritual, turns out because of the investigation that they, the, that their lord Elbion would come back and he will be the demon side's trump card. Because currently the demons are on the losing end and they are currently hiding. As now we see, currently they were heading towards a class of their sensei where they were going to learn how to summon the summoning beasts. They could range from dragons all the way down to pythons and even to armadillos, the lowest tanking beast known to them all. They are very different and could vary as well. As now we see, both Marcus and Naruto who have become best friends and like brothers were talking. Oh, I can't wait, man. Finally, I'll be able to have my own summon. Why are you so happy about this, Naruto? Jeez, what if you have an armadillo or something? So what? I'll be happy as long as I have a summon. 
I, I've seen my father's and my mother's some, and they were so cute. Huh. I remember. The Duke has a wolf, right? Yeah. Saber. He's quite nice, as well as quite stealthy. And my mother has a cat named Lunar. She is quite mischievous, but I guess she has her own uses, huh? Ah, they're so cute and beautiful. I wish I have a fluffy one like them. Fluffy one? <laughs> you really are weird, Naruto. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Marcus. So, you're aiming to pull a dragon today, huh? Like your father. Well, yeah, I am from, after all, the lineage of the king who has been pulling dragons one after another in the summon. It would be quite disappointing if I don't pull out a dragon. You know, you don't have to worry about anything. Even if you have a lower summon, nobody will say anything to you. But remember this, summon is also a part of you. And you should treat it, no matter what, with kindness. <sighs> you just act like I don't know that, Naruto. Hey, I'm just reminding you again. <laughs> yeah, always, I guess. As now we see, once the class began, their sensei informed them of how to do the things. And that is when something interesting happened. As one by one, the kids began to pull out their summons through the summoning circle as after that Marcus went first since he was the prince of the empire everyone was interested Marcus feeling the pressure looked towards Naruto who calmed him down with his gaze as with a reassuring smile now he pulled out and that is when a dragon appeared it was a golden dragon which he named Sebas who was now going to be his loyal steed as well as his guardian and protector as after that his summon disappeared we see him walking back with a smile Thanks, Naruto. Huh, I didn't do anything. It was all you, Marcus. Anyways, wish me luck. You don't need it, but still, good luck, Naruto. As Naruto arrived there, he placed his hand on the summoning circle, and that is when, instead of a bright light that used to be appear, a dark light with lightning appeared as the whole sky turned dark, and out came the dark dragon itself, Albion. As its eyes, which were covered with lightning, body charging with lightning as well, looked down on the summoner. That is when, immediately, everyone said, Everyone retreat! Naruto Sama, you as well! No! As Naruto summoned his Excalibur, he then said, I need to defeat it. I can sense it. If I'm able to tame it, I will be able to change tides. Everyone evacuate! As the mages appeared to carry out the protection barrier, the king and the nobles were informed already. As Naruto took charge, his parents arrived on the battlefield, only to see him getting slammed against the barrier as he was on the ground. As Marcus then said, Naruto, get out of there, please! No, I caused this mess. I'm gonna finish it. As that is when he saw his parents. Naruto, my boy, please stop this. Y you're done enough. We'll deal with it. No. No, Dad. Mother, I have to do this on my own. Everyone stand back. As that is when Naruto, using his mana, charged up his strength. As he was doing so, he heard a voice. You're wasting your time, kid. I've gathered enough of this mana and chakra of mine. Use mine instead. As Naruto, heartbeat was increased as his eyes morphed from blue to red. Blood red with slits in them. As the mana which was blue of Naruto turned into dark red. As everyone was shocked, as Naruto wielding his Excalibur, which was now in a corrupted state, was able to subdue the dragon. But as soon as he did so, Naruto returned back to normal. As that is when the dragon turned into a small chibi dragon, that that of a in small baby. That but now admitted that Naruto was strong and saw him as his master, and even placed itself on his head. As Naruto was panting heavily. Aren't you a curious child, huh? As Naruto witnessed that the summoning mark appeared on his hand. <laughs> So now you choose me. I guess it was kind of tense of strength and all that. As after the summoning circles disappeared, Naruto's robes were tattered. And not only that, the Excalibur returned to its normal self as it looked towards Naruto. And at that moment, Naruto was taken to hospital. But that was not all. After Naruto woke up, he was called in not only by his parents, but also by Marcus. I can't believe you pull out that. Still, who would have thought that you'll be able to pull out that... Demon King himself, the Great Dragon Albion. What? Hey, are you telling me that this cute little kid is Albion? As the dragon, black dragon with white eyes looked towards and turned its head upside down like a puppy. 
Even though it's a dragon, it's cute. I don't think he's, you know, Elbion. As the... That is when the king arrived. M my king. Calm down, Naruto. I'm not here as a king, but as your uncle. I am worried about you, you know? Ah, uh, I see. What is it, my king? Still with that. Ah, anyway, it is interesting for you to pull out the draw dragon himself. Who would have thought? Well, I... I'm not sure. Even the whole church is quite shocked that you were able to do something like this. Some of the people have, in the noble fraction that is opposition to us have called you the demon king and all that. The true one. And it will be a hectic thing for you in the future. I don't care about them. I'll only protect and use my sword as soon as I pulled it out to defend those who are dear to me. You, Marcus, Lina-sama, as well as my parents and family. And the duchy and the whole empire. My blade only wields to protect it. And even to forgive those who seek forgiveness, refuge and all. It will be used only to taint its play itself with the blood of corrupt and greedy. And those of our enemies who wishes to harm us. I could expect nothing less from you. But Naruto, have you ever not wondered about, you know, your other self? Your other the reality, your family from that side. As Naruto flinched, I have talked to this being. I was talking to it before waking up. What being? You know, the one that ha that that the one that placed the seal on me. It was my father, the real one, named Minato no Mikaze. My real name was supposed to be Naruto Uzumaki no Mikaze. I was born in a place known as Konoha, a shinobi village. They would train their children to become. Uh, young warriors at the age from age of 8 to all the way to 13. They have child warriors? I can't believe this. <sighs> yes. And there is dictatorship going on and a lot of wars. And the being that is sealed inside of me is the strongest Biju known to them. Like the drug dragon Albion itself. And it was its strength that with the help of which I was able to defeat it. But why would it help it if you say it hates human? Because... I... I'm not a shinobi, and he, he knows that he and I both are in different reality of our own. What if you find a way back, Naruto? What would you do? Now it makes sense the prophecy states that you are to bring peace to both worlds. With the Demon King now under your control, you have brought peace here. But what about that reality? It doesn't concern us, said Albert, the Duke as he arrived. <sighs> Albert, you're still worried about this. Your son knows already. I told him. Naruto, please, even if you find a way, do not leave. As your father, this is my order. I wish not to see my son disappearing on me again. I almost lost you today. I won't lose it. Lose you again. You hear me? I, I promise I won't, father. As after that, Marcus even left, seeing that his mother was waiting to talk to him. As soon as his mother entered, she slapped him on the face. Why would you do something like this? And that is when tears fell down from her eyes as she hugged him close. As now we see, after that day, Naruto vowed that he wouldn't do anything of that sort again. And soon, a few years more passed, as the age of 16 arrived, Naruto was soon going to meet his fiance, the, du the Duke, other Duke's daughter. His name was Winter, the Duke of the South side of the Empire. Since they ruled over the north, he ruled over the south, and his daughter, Elena, was going to be his fiancée soon. She has fallen in love with him after him defending the whole academy and even saving the kingdom. Many called him the demon, demon dragon slayer, and some of them called him the demon king itself. But soon they realized that they were just falsely based rumors because of the duchy being under his control since he reached at the age of 15 for one whole year has become more prosperous and even his methods were being implemented in the whole empire and the economic state has boomed and not only that the strength of the military as well as economic boom has going up and up again and many of the nobles see him as a prodigy who has uplifted the kingdom and he is well respected by all and seeing this even Elena couldn't stop herself from falling in love with him and Naruto has seen her. She is a one-of-a-kind beauty that many sought out, even in the whole world itself. But she has chosen him? Well, she kind of seen something in him. As Marcus, although albeit being jealous, was happy. 
I can't believe this. <laughs> I had my eyes on her for some time, but oh well, since you have her, I'm gonna back off now. Well, for, you know, for for Prince, you're quite straightforward with this, with me. I have to. I mean, I am your kind of brother, you know. <laughs> Always with the pleasantries. Anyways, I'm glad it is you who's going with me there, as that is when their carriage stopped in midway, as night passed out, and only him and Marcus was sitting still, as they hold on to their blades. We should get out soon. It has become quite still. Stay inside, Marcus. Leave this to me. No. If you're going out there, I'm going as well. We both need to handle this, together. <laughs> if anything happens to you, my father and your father is gonna give me a whole ear out and chew me out. Of course they wouldn't. And if anything happens to you, same would happen to me. So we're gonna stick together, you hear me? Fine, fine, I guess. As both of them stepped out of the carriage to see that their knights were passed out, how did this happen? There's not a trace of single one here, of assassins or either of bandits. It is not because it was because of them, said a voice as suddenly a bright light emerged and they were standing in a void which was filled with white, whiteness and nothing else. As in front of them was now a man with three eyes, and his eyes were different. As that is when he did something to Naruto's seal as it was removed, and out came Kurama on his shoulder in a puffy state. So this is the thing that you said was a fox. Oi, said a deep grumbling voice that shocked Marcus. You better watch your tone, Brad. I can level your whole kingdom if I want to if I'm enraged. Enough now, my son. Father. So this is Kurama, Kurama's father. My name is Sage of the Sixth Path, or this is the title that the people of the Elemental Nation has given me. My name is Hagaromo Otsutsuki. Hagaromo Otsutsuki. What can I d do for you? You're not from this world, Naruto. As Naruto flinched and so did Marcus. I, I know. But my family is here. What about your real family? They have been depressed for the past 10 years searching high and low for you. But regardless, you are the child of prophecy for the both worlds, Naruto. Even if it was by accident, you have to carry the duty of both. Saving one, you now have to save the other. With this child, as Albion appeared behind the sage with his grown-up form, as it looked towards Naruto, Albion, what are you doing here? Wait, Nardo, are you really going to leave? Do not worry, Prince of the Empire. He will return within one year. Say this to your parents. And once he does, you all will see. As Nardo disappeared with the sage and Kurama, as Marcus was left there on his own. No! Nardo, wait! As he found himself standing back where he was, as Nardo was not there. No. As the knights woke up, my liege, why are you outside? What happened? Where is Naruto Sama? Return back to the kingdom this instance. Now! As the order was done, as now we see, back at the duchy, the duke was informed and so was the duchess. As the emperor and the empress were since also there, since it was nearest to them, they were also informed. As the four of them with Marcus was gathered. How did this happen? That being the sage was powerful enough. He was from Naruto's world it seemed and he was also that fox's father. They took them back, and Albion is with them as well. No, Naruto, no, said the Duchess as she fell down. Mary, hold, hold yourself. Our son is strong. He will come back to us. He has gone back to his real family, though, said Marcus. The, the say said that they were looking for him. As Albert sighed and looked down, as Mary began to cry, knowing that this was the right thing, maybe. It was Naruto's real family, after all. As now we see on the other side, Naruto has arrived to the battlefield as the sage informed him of everything. As now we go towards Konoha, it has gone into a war as the Akatsuki declared it as in canon, as the Shinobi alliance was on the losing end, as Madara was winning. As Madara was about to kill both Sasuke and Mito a being appeared on the battlefield. As using a magic circle that appeared, a huge amount of fire was thrown out towards Madara that Madara dodged, but that is when a lightning struck as a being appeared from the sky. A dragon! They all thought which was a myth as a huge amount of lightning struck down on Madara as Madara for the first time knelt down to the ground, bleeding. Bleeding? Me. <laughs> Interesting. Who would have thought a dragon would appear on the battlefield? As that is when 
Kurama said, Oi, kid, I'm back to my normal self. Be sure you use what my father told you. As everyone seeing the QB there was shocked because they only thought that the chakra existed and the being standing in front of them with the sword, even with his armor that was now on him, they knew who it was. It's been a long time, sister. How have you been? said Naruto in a calming tone. As Mito's eyes widened, and so did Minato and Kushina's. Now is not the time to relax. We have to end this, said Naruto. As Naruto saving them both, now with the three of them charged towards the battlefield. And the battle continued on and on until Naruto with a single strike thanks to the help of Albion and Kurama was able to defeat Madara and stop the Moon Eye plan once and for all. But seemingly was their victory was nothing more than a fake one as Kaguya or Chisuki itself appeared and that is when giving the sage power to Naruto and Mito both of them were able to then defeat Kaguya or Chisuki and seal her away. After the battle ended and they were freed from the Moon Eye plan. They all cheered, and everyone celebrated. And so, the six month passed, as Naruto was happy to meet his real parents and be with them, and even with his family. But he missed his parents who raised him. And he told everyone, even his parents and his sister, about the life he has lived, and he was going to meet his fiance soon. He even showed them the picture that was brought with him, thanks to his attire that he was wearing. And seeing him in his attire of as a young duke they were quite surprised because Naruto looked quite handsome as Mi both Kushina and Minato were happy as that is when Minato prepared his son to live here and to get himself accustomed to but Naruto was feeling himself as an outcast as now we see nine months passed like this as Naruto finally said I'm I know I'm happy to meet you finally but I'm worried about my parents I have home there. All my life I lived there. I can't just integrate myself into your lives. I, I can't. I'm sorry. We know. It is fine, son. As Kushina and Minato hugged their son, and so did Mito. We love you, Naruto. If there is a way, we could send you back, but we just have our son back. We know you were happy there when you told us about the stories we can see in your eyes, but we don't know how to do it. They don't, but I do. Since I made a promise to Marquez, said the sage as he arrived there, you don't need to worry about it, Naruto. Your parents of their reality have been informed. And here you go, Minato, Kushina, Mito, as a marker was given to them. This is a magic marker that will be allowed to, for you to travel once an year to travel into Naruto's reality to meet him. As Naruto was also given a marker, once a year they would have been, they will be able to meet their son. And... The marker will only activate and will be eligible for only one month at least, so they can stay for one month together. And so Naruto, after bidding his family farewell, knowing that they now had a contact with their son, Naruto went back to see his mother. The Dutchie celebrated his return because he was not only a victor and savior of their world, but now of another reality, the one he came from. The king was happy, and so he finally met his fiancée, Elena. And soon, both of them were married, as even his parents from Elemental Nation joined them in. And even his dragon, and QB himself, as everyone cheered the celebration and union of the strongest hero of the both realities. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this short movie off, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel, as this is Apollo Uchiha, and I'm signing off for the day. Peace!